Guys, today we're going to take a look at every single NYCC Funko Pop currently in our collection. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel for a very special video as we're going to be showcasing every single NYCC Funko Pop exclusive currently in our collection. We thought this would be a really fun video to do considering we are leaving for NYCC today. We absolutely cannot wait for the con. We got a bunch of videos that are going to be dropping right here on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you do not miss out on any of that content. Without further ado, let's jump into every single pop from NYCC that we currently own. All right, guys, we're going to kick it off with the con sticker version of Boba Fett from 2021. I absolutely love this one. It is the unmasked Tustin Raider version of Boba Fett in the Mandalorian style box commemorating his epic return to the Star Wars universe in the Mandalorian season two. Up next, we have the blue Superman, also with the con sticker here. And uh, there's actually a red Superman coming out this week for New York Comic Con 2022. So I'm hoping I can grab that one to go with this one. Up next, also Star Wars themed, we have Cad Bane with Toto 360. This one was not only a New York Comic Con exclusive, but also was a Festival of Fun exclusive. So a lot of different stickers going on there. This one was delayed, was supposed to come out last year for New York Comic Con, and then didn't show up until around December. Now moving back the clock to 2020. First up, we have Robin Sparkles from How I Met Your Mother, a great one, and uh, I absolutely love having it in my collection because I'm a huge fan of the show How I Met Your Mother. I think I've watched it like three or four times all the way through. Next up from another TV show that is near and dear to my heart, we have Dwight Schrute as Recyclops from The Office, and this one happens to be with the official con sticker, which is always a plus. Um, I have a bunch of Dwights in my collection as I have many Office Pops, and I'm very thrilled to have this one in my collection. Okay, on top of Dwight, we have a big one here. This is the 1,000 piece limited edition camouflage artist series Boba Fett. This one was a huge surprise. No one knew this was coming until the very last second. I think this even showed up in some people's carts during the 2020 drop. It did come with a lounge fly bag. Um, it was a Slave One lounge fly bag, also limited to a thousand pieces. I did end up selling that one off to help pay for the cost of this pop. Very excited to have this one in my collection as I am currently Boba Fett complete with the exception of the concept series Boba Fett. Up next from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or excuse me, the Marvel Comic Book Universe, we have the Red Goblin here, and uh, he happens to have the con sticker, which is a very nice touch. I really like having this one to go with some of my other Green Goblin pops, as well as my Hobgoblin. Up next from the DC line, we have the Breast Cancer Series Awareness Joker. This one was a con exclusive, which I thought was a really nice touch to the breast cancer awareness line. And this one happens to be with the con sticker. Very fortunate to have so many con stickers here from 2021. And complimenting the con sticker army here, we also have Barnacle Boy from SpongeBob SquarePants. And yes, this one is from Joanna's collection. I know she is a big fan and very happy to have this one. I think we still need to get her the, uh, the other one from the SpongeBob SquarePants line. So I think we need to track that one down pretty soon. All right, up next from the DC Superheroes line here, we have Nightwing, once again, with the con sticker. So we killed it with con stickers from 2020. If you guys don't know, Nightwing happens to be my favorite superhero from the DC universe. And uh, I think they just did such a great job with this mold. I love his updated uniform as well as his action pose. So kudos to Funko. I was so excited when this one came out. And uh, what makes it even more special to me is I was actually gifted it by a friend. Um, and they actually had a YouTube channel of their own. Um, so huge shout out to Jason. Thank you so much for once again hooking me up. All right, moving on to the last 2020 NYCC exclusive we have in our collection. 
yet again with the con sticker we have danny phantom which is one that i was really excited for i remember watching danny phantom as a kid so this brings back a lot of nostalgic memories overall just a really cool mold if you guys can see in the box he is floating as he's turning into a ghost there and i just absolutely love that so they did a great job on this one and uh, very fortunate to have it in the collection now moving back to 2019, check it out guys. We have the con sticker version of the Action Pose Mandalorian. This is a big grail now, but I remember when I purchased it, no one even knew who the Mandalorian was as this one came out before the Mandalorian season one dropped. And uh, now everyone knows who the Mandalorian is. So really funny how one show could really change pop culture. All right, on top of the Mandalorian, we have Officer Freddy Funko here. This one also has the con sticker, and uh, I really like this one because it has the NYPD logo on the crown there, and I really wish that Funko would make an FDNY version of Freddy. I think that would be killer. Also love the F on his coffee cup. This is just so iconic to New York, and uh, they really need to do more of this. All right, next to Officer Freddy, we have the Sand Trooper, which is a really fun trooper variant here. And once again, we are lucky enough to have the official con sticker. You guys know when it comes to Star Wars, I love my trooper variants. And uh, the Sand Trooper is no exception, if you guys can see in the box. Um, probably not because it's really small, but he does have the orange pauldron on his right shoulder. And um, yeah, they just did a great job. I love the weather look on him. So definitely looking forward to more troopers. All right, next to the Sand Trooper, we have Marty McFly in his radiation suit. This one was a Pop Blitz exclusive as well as a New York Comic Con exclusive, so that's why it has the double stickers. Um, the Pop Blitz was a, a game that they had just debuted in 2020. Um, really happy to have this. I'm a huge Back to the Future fan, and uh, I have pretty much all of the Back to the Future pops. All right, up next, this is probably one that most people didn't know I had in my collection, but this is the Home Run Babe Ruth. Now, I'm not the biggest baseball guy, but I really wanted to get this one in my collection just because it is New York, it's the Yankees, and uh, I happen to live in New York City for five years, so anything New York, um, especially Funko-related, I just had to have. So many people have asked me for trades or if I would sell this bad boy, but I got it for like 100 bucks, and... Uh, um, I just really like it, even though I'm not a big baseball fan. And this one, yes, does have the con sticker. This was a Funko Shop show exclusive only, so it was not shared with any retailer. Up next, we have the debut version of the Futura Darth Vader. This one actually came in the hard stack like all the other Futura Pops. And you could get it at Target, but if you wanted the pre-release debut version, you could only get that through New York Comic Con. I do have one other pop here from 2019. And this one is a rather large one. This is from Joanna's Disney collection. And this is Kevin with the Up House. A beautiful pop. Just one of the best pop towns that they've ever done. I love all the colored balloons that they have here at the top, as well as Kevin. And um, Kevin is a little bit bigger than the house, which is not quite as proportioned from the show, but that's okay. I really like the style box. If you guys can see, it's not that deep, which is nice. So you can still fit it on a relatively small shelf. Um, this one has uh, appreciated quite a bit in value. And uh, a lot of the pop towns that they've made don't compete with this one in terms of detail and accuracy, in my opinion. So we're very happy to have this one in the collection. We also have one more pop over here I forgot to mention. This is from 2020. This is the Carl and Ellie two pack here of them painting the mailbox it is a super cute movie moment this one was a box lunch exclusive and i remember people were going nuts trying to track this one down everybody was calling their local box lunches trying to see if they had them um, so we got very fortunate and were able to get one of these in our collection so this is the first wave of nycc pops but now we're going to turn back the clock even more guys and we're going to see what other older exclusives we currently own all right, guys, so you'll have to forgive me. I forgot to include two pops in the last clip. There's just so many pops going on right now. Uh, but we do have Mermaid Man. I had a feeling Joanna had this one in her collection. So this is from 2020 New York Comic Con to go with her Barnacle Boy. So rest assured, we do have both of those. Also, another one that slipped through my fingers here. We have the 1500-piece 
pink chrome Batman from 2019 New York Comic Con. I absolutely love this one. I do have all of the chrome Batmans. And this one is really cool because it's actually in the 80 year Batman box, which was a really nice touch. I remember when this one dropped in 2019, everyone was going crazy. And uh, we were actually at 2019 New York Comic Con. So that was a lot of fun. All right, so now moving into 2018, we have the 2018 New York Comic Con Glow in the Dark Killer Frost from the Flash TV show. We absolutely love the Flash TV show, and I even love this pop more because I got it from my good friend Vince over at the Papa Duo. He was actually able to go over to his local store, My Pops, and grab this one for me, so it's very special to my collection. All right, up next from the Marvel Universe, we have Carnage. And this one is actually the Carnage mold that they used for the Blacklight Carnage pop. I absolutely love this one. All the tendrils going out of control. This is also the same mold that they used to create the Freddy Funko as Carnage, which I still need to pick up one of these days. All right, continuing with the Marvel theme, we have Spider-Woman. And this one was a very difficult one to track down. I only got this one pretty recently. I guess they just didn't make a lot of this exclusive for that year. And um, I think her value is going to go way up once we eventually see Spider-Woman in some sort of Spider-Man content, whether that's a movie or a TV series. All right, up next we have the Flying Supergirl from the Supergirl show, just like The Flash. We absolutely love Supergirl. They have not made many Supergirl pops, and this is the only one from her show. So we are very lucky to have this one and very fortunate to have it with the actual con sticker as this one has appreciated quite a bit in value. Now here is a big one. In 2018, when they revealed that this one was coming out, I was so flipping excited. I love the Clone Wars and I especially love Captain Rex. They've only made two Captain Rex Funko Pops and I love this one in particular because he does have his helmet and on the side of his helmet in the box, if you guys can see, he does have the tick marks from all the clankas that he's killed off. So I really enjoy that. Just an amazing pop. I am very fortunate to have it with the actual con sticker. Even though I was not at New York Comic Con 2018, I couldn't go that year. I still love having this pop. And this one has risen quite a bit in value, which is pretty crazy. All right, on top of Captain Rex, we have one of my all-time favorites. This is Freddy Funko as the Statue of Liberty from New York Comic Con 2017. And for some reason, it is the only exclusive that I actually have from New York Comic Con 2017. This is a 6,000 piece limited edition exclusive. And this one is very special to me because New York Comic Con 2017 was the first con that I actually went to. And I grossly overpaid um, a secondary retailer booth for this pop. So I actually got this pop at the con, um, but I did pay a lot more than what it's worth today. Still, nonetheless, it does have um, a big memory attached to it since it was my first NYCC. So it's definitely not leaving my collection ever. Plus, it's Freddy Funko, and you guys know how important Freddy is to me. Now, moving into 2016 New York Comic Con. That was a great year for exclusives. Starting out with a big one. This is the 2,000-piece limited edition Gwagon Jin. Absolutely loved Liam Neeson's character from episode one. We even got to see Liam Neeson again in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series recently. Um, so if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry for the spoiler, but it has been out for quite some time. I do love this pop. Um, they have not made many Gwagon Jin pops. And uh, when I found out this one was coming out, I had to have it. Now moving on to the White Lantern Batman. This is just a cool Batman variant. I do have a lot of Batman pops. Um, I just thought this was a really cool mashup between Batman and the White Lantern core. They have made quite a few White Lantern pops, and I believe I have all of them except for Kyle Rayner. All right, next up, also from the DC line, we have the Killing Joke Joker. Now, they actually made an animated movie, and once I saw that movie, I had to have this pop. They did such a good job making the Joker here very similar and very accurate to what he looked like in the movie. It's a very good movie. If you guys haven't seen it, it kind of gives more of an origin story or a different origin story for the Joker, since we really don't know where he came from in DC Comics. But um, yeah, it's just a really fun exclusive, and I'm very happy to have it in the collection. Continuing with the DC trend, we have Batgirl. This is based on the new 52 Batgirl, and um, I really like it. Kind of the Burnside edition there. 
and uh, she's just a really fun variant. I absolutely love Batgirl. She's another one of my favorite DC characters, right up there with Nightwing, and uh, very happy to have Barbara Gordon here in the collection. Now, here's another one. I actually keep this one out of box. This is the Freddy Funko Taxi. Um, I do have the box. The, he was limited to only 2,000 pieces, and they actually made a, another Freddy ride that year where he was in the red convertible. That was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. That one was only 500 pieces. So I was very excited to grab this one right after the um, the other San Diego Comic-Con ride came out. I wish they would do more Freddy rides. I would love to see Freddy and maybe like a police car or a fire truck or an ambulance. Or I really think they have so much potential that they could do with rides in terms of Freddy's and they really just don't, they don't take advantage of that. Also the detailing on here I absolutely love this New York Comic Con right there on the side of the taxi. Also, one of the reasons I wanted to leave this out of box is we do have Funko on the license plate and you have the nice Funko crown. And on the back of the pop, it says the Funko Cab Company right there in New York City. And you could only capture those details up close if you actually take them out of box. So there is one of my favorite Freddies of all time. And I, I think he's going to go up a lot one day. All right. On top of here, we have the big, the oldest ones in my collection and some pretty big ones here. Um, the TIE Fighter Pilot was a 2015 New York Comic Con exclusive. This one is not worth a ton, but I think it's very undervalued. I absolutely love Star Wars, as you guys could probably tell watching this video. And uh, this is not an expensive pop. However, they just did a great job with this mold. Um, I love the decals on the top of them. I love his center console there, as well as the air hoses. They just did such a good job on this one, and I had to have it for my collection. Now, you guys probably spotted this in the corner when I was talking about the TIE Fighter Pilot, and this is one of my most proud pops right here, one of the most proud possessions in my collection. This is the 1,500-piece gray superhero Stan Lee, and I am one of 10 people to actually have this version of Stan Lee signed. This is authenticated by the Stan Lee company, and um, I did pay a lot for this pop, but I really wanted to have one Stan Lee autograph in my collection. Unfortunately, I did not get this autographed in person with him. Um, I did buy this from a other collector after he died, and after he died, a lot of his stuff skyrocketed in value, of course, because unfortunately he will not be able to sign any more things, but very fortunate to be one of the lucky few here to have this particular variant, which is already limited in itself, but this version is even more limited and it is never leaving my collection because Stan Lee has left a huge impact on my life and is part of the reason why I'm here with this channel today. And now for the final New York Comic Con exclusive in my collection. This girl was a tough one to track down. This is the 240 piece black and white Wonder Woman. I absolutely love Wonder Woman, Diana Prince. I absolutely love reading all her comics and uh, Gal Gadot does a great job portraying her on the big screen. I remember briefly watching the old school Wonder Woman show on TV, but when I found out that this pop existed back in 2014 when I picked it up, I had to have it. It's just, it's really cool. It's a very unique sticker design. They really don't make a lot of con pops with that sticker and um, it is very limited, 240 pieces from 2011, I should have mentioned that, or excuse me, 2010, 2010 New York Comic Con. So one of the first New York Comic Con exclusives that they ever picked up and uh, very lucky to have that. So here is the second half of all the exclusives from New York Comic Con in our collection. And we'll see you guys back in the chair in just a sec. All right, guys, so that was every NYCC Funko Pop exclusive that we currently have in our collection. I actually thought that we had more, but it turns out we have a ton of exclusives from San Diego Comic Con, which makes sense because that is where a majority of the Freddy Funko Pops are dropped. Let me know down in the comments section below which pop from today's video was your favorite, and, and are you excited for New York Comic Con this week, and what are you going to be picking up? We are very excited for several things, 
things, but most importantly, we are just super beyond pumped to be going to the con itself. So like I said, guys, make sure you subscribe. We got a lot of big videos coming out and I absolutely cannot wait to share the experience with all you guys. So thank you to everybody who has helped the channel grow this much and has given us the opportunity to actually go to New York Comic Con as a channel. We are very excited for this opportunity and we are definitely going to make the most of it. So with that being said, guys, don't stop shooting until you score and we'll see you all very soon.